Hello, this is John Locke, and today I want to talk about how we tend to put SEO in a box by itself when really SEO and our overall marketing strategy is really more integrated than we think. And to bring this up, I want to highlight a company that I think has been doing a lot of things right over the last year, and that's Domino's Pizza. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that. So, with bigger brands, we often see them doing things to get buzz uh, in the news, and usually this will be uh, commercials or some sort of publicity or PR campaign. And we saw this recently with uh, IHOP, International House of Pancakes. They did this uh, with their publicity stunt uh, to just remind people that they had burgers on their menu by changing their name, but, but not really changing it to IHOP. Uh, that was a temporary blip. Now, Domino's Pizza, what I've noticed them doing over the past uh, 18 months or so, has been really staggeringly, uh, consistently good. And I can point to their TV commercials, some of the things that they're doing to generate buzz. Uh, one of the things that they did initially was uh, make these commercials where they said that they were remodeling all their stores, or they had a winning formula, but they were basically going to uh, redo their stores because there is a way to be even more efficient uh, and make things even better. And I thought that that was like really kind of cool um, because just the tone of the commercials, it, it just came across as very real and not gimmicky. Uh, the second thing that they did with their TV commercials recently was they had a um, they had a TV commercial where they were talking about we want your pizza to be delivered in the best shape as possible. So when there's potholes in the road, uh, your delivery driver hits the potholes and the pizza shakes, and uh, you know the cheese gets stuck to the top of the lid, and nobody wants that. Uh, so tell us where there's a pothole, and then we'll go fix it for you because we want your pizza to be uh, fresh. So that was like really cool. Uh, so these sorts of things are big buy media. These cost like millions of dollars to run, uh, but they're doing things and they're putting a message out there that's different from everybody else's. They're really, um, you know, doing something that is buzzworthy, that is uh, remark worthy, that's truly remarkable in the way that they're trying to position themselves as different from the everybody else that's selling pizza. So one thing that I, I wanted to, to point out too, I just Googled pizza really quick uh, on my laptop and what I noticed was at the very top uh, where there's ads, AdWords, there is two ads up there, but the very top ad was Domino's. They actually are spending money on AdWords to make sure that they're the very first thing on the page that you see, which I thought was like pretty cool. Not that I'm going to click an ad, but it's just kind of interesting that there's a congruency to their, their ad spend. So I scrolled down a little bit, and then I noticed uh, in the three-pack map, obviously they weren't there. The closest dominoes uh, to where we're at is in Old Elk Grove. Uh, and so the, I think the closest ones around here was the Round Table Lamp Post Pizza, which is a local uh, thing. Really good pizza, by the way. Uh, and uh, somebody else that I can't remember. Uh, but when I went down into the organic results, the unpaid uh, regular 10 links, Domino's was number two. So there's a lot of consistency with what they're doing. Um, SEO, we tend to think of it as, you know, some magic fairy dust that we sprinkle on the site at the very end after the web design team and the web development team have already built the site. SEO team comes in at the last second and puts a dash of SEO juice on there and it doesn't work like that. Uh, what you're gonna see over the next five years is I think that Google is going to fulfill the promise that they made in 2008 where they said that big brands are how you sort out the cesspool and brands that are distinct. Uh, Google has a way to recognize a brand from just uh, everybody else. So doing things that tell Google that you're a brand, uh, meaning, in my opinion, people are searching you by name, 
they're seeking out your brand, they're typing search uh, in with your brand name, you're doing things uh, like what you would call, which is a buzzword right now, omni-channel, uh, where you're <laughs> investing in ads in, in many different forms, uh, you're marketing in many different ways, you're trying to generate buzz about your brand and not just rank on keywords, uh, but you're doing uh, holistic marketing all the way around. I think that's one way. Of course, having social profiles and uh, putting content on those social profiles and trying to reach people through social media, because let's face it, uh, we spend a lot of time on social media and what do big brands do? They try and reach people where they're at. In when I was growing up in the 70s, that would have been TV commercials, would have been radio ads. Um, you know, maybe when you were growing up, it would have been uh, you know TV commercials or something like that. Now it's billboards. Uh, now it's into social media. So if you really think about it, if you do what big brands do, and I'm not saying spend a million dollars on ad campaigns, I'm saying do what you can to separate yourself from the rest of the pack and not look like everybody else. Do things that are different from what everybody else in your industry is doing and actually do things that bigger brands are doing. Uh, then Google, I think, is going to recognize that. Uh, and I've seen that happen where uh, companies that previously were not doing things like that to distinguish themselves from the rest of the herd. And when they do that, they start to see success in SEO as well. Uh, so I just want to you know, tie this up by saying SEO is not just one um, segmented piece of marketing that's over here by itself. More and more you're going to see that uh, your website, all your satellite uh, entities like your social media, and the rest of your campaigns that you're doing with marketing, whether it's email marketing, billboards, TV, radio, direct mail, no matter what it is, all those things are kind of building up brand awareness of your brand. Um, and I think that <clears throat> SEO is going to be impacted more and more by these things. So, you know, look for examples of brands that are doing a good job and see what you can learn from them. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say on that this morning. My name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. We help manufacturing and industrial firms with their SEO so they get more RFQs. If you have an SEO question that you'd like to see us answer, drop it in the comments below and we'll answer it out in a future video for you. Uh, we're putting out videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. Until next time, peace.